So about a week ago, I made a James Devlin video, and to my surprise, it actually did pretty well numbers-wise. I kind of just threw it out there as one of my short film studies, just as kind of a way to, you know, get a video out there. I like talking about full baths, so I thought it'd be fun. But I figured nobody would ever click on it because it's just a video about a full bath. But to my surprise, you guys were all big fans of it, and I even got comments saying you should make more full back videos. And so I said, hey, if you guys want to see full back videos, then full back videos I will make, and that's why I'm making this video on Kyle Yuzek. A fullback can be a very important position in the NFL, it oftentimes gets taken for granted because let's be honest, you're out there for a small percentage of snaps, and it is the kind of thing that a lot of guys can do. And what I mean by that is, you know, the drop off from having an elite fullback to a mediocre fullback just doesn't hurt you as much as, let's say, having an elite level tackle as opposed to a mediocre tackle. But there is value to be had in a fullback, especially in a system like the 49ers system, the Kyle Shanahan system, where he just loves to use his fullbacks to their full potential. But there is a lot of advantages that can be had in having a good fullback, and especially in the Kyle Shanahan system, which loves fullbacks. And so let's just get things started with this play. What they're going to do is have their center and actually right guard be the one double teaming that Viking player right over there and then they're gonna pull the left guard over there and the reason why they're doing this instead of just having people block straight up is this can give better angles for potentially a gap to open up in between those two Vikings and if the gap does open up then Uchek can simply just run straight through it and then obviously the halfback will follow him and one thing you'll see is that this is gonna work out absolutely perfectly there's the C has been parted essentially and now Uchek is right in front of his halfback and can make a lead block for him and so watch his blocking and watch how he just takes that Viking out of the way. Granted, it doesn't matter too much because another Viking is in the area and is able to make a tackle, so I don't really gain him an extra couple of yards having him in the play. But that's a good block, and that kind of just goes to show what a fullback's value can bring to a team. If you have a mediocre fullback in that situation, then the Vikings linebacker could get around your fullback and then easily make a tackle on the halfback. And who knows, if there was a broken tackle, that one could have gone for plenty of yards, you know? So that kind of gives you an advantage where instead of having to make two guys miss, you're only having to make one guy miss. It's plays like that that make a fullback effective, but you know, a lot of fullbacks could do that. What makes Yushek so special? Why is this guy someone I'm making a video about as opposed to any other fullback in the league? You know, I mean, he's made a Pro Bowl the last three seasons. How has he gotten to this point? And well, there's several different ways. But one thing about it is his footwork. And yes, his footwork. He doesn't just run into straight lines sometimes. Sometimes he has to move around and he can do it. Like on this play, it's going to start off as though it's just going to be a run to the right side of the screen. And as you see, once I pause it right here, yep, it's a run to the right side of the screen. That's what it totally looks like. However, that is not going to be the case. Instead, Yushek is actually going to run to the left side of the screen, and the halfback is as well, as they're trying to fool the Minnesota linebackers into running over to the right side of the screen to create more space on the left side of the screen. You also notice that that Minnesota Viking player is going to be unblocked, which is something you would do in a run to the right side of the screen, is you just don't block the edge rusher on the left side of the screen, since it would just be tough for him to get into the play. That can be very beneficial, and can even give you an extra blocker in certain situations, since you don't have to worry about him. So the fact that teams do that will help sell to Minnesota, okay, this actually could be a run to the right side of the screen. This probably is a run to the right side of the screen. And again, if this was just a halfback running in that direction, well then they wouldn't be able to run to the left side of the screen since there'd now be a Minnesota Viking completely unblocked. But since you have a fullback in the game, you can run now to the left side of the screen and try to make this work. And with Yusek's great ability to block, he is able to run over and make that block. Although if I'm going to quibble about that, the halfback should have ran more over to the left side of the screen as well. So that's kind of why the play didn't work out too well. But again, give credit to Yusek there for that great footwork and being able to get over and make that block despite the fact that he had a long range to cover. He sold the fake to the right side of the screen pretty well and then also made a good block on the left side of the screen. That's why I'm showing that play even if it didn't necessarily work out for San Francisco because it was a good play by Yushek and he, he's the guy I'm making a video on so that's why I'm showing that play. There's also this one where it's actually going to be play action and so that could be a question mark right? How do you use a fullback in play action? And of course there's several things you could do. You could have him go out and run a route or you could just have him block. And here, they are going to have him block, but they're not going to have him chip the line on the left side of the screen. They're actually going to have him pull over and chip the line on the right side of the screen. Now, that might seem like a little bit of a questionable decision, but look how Yushik is easily able to run over to the right side of the screen and make this block. It's very seamless. And the value in doing that is when you do pull someone over like that, it does help, again, sell a play action because you will often pull somebody over if it is going to be a run play. Usually, you don't do that in the passing game, but this way, they can still have Yushik help chip someone and basically take away an edge rusher. But also, he's in the game, which just helps selling a potential run so it helps sell to play action helps get the linebackers moved in more but you're still able to be impactful in the passing game by chipping a defensive end it's just a really good idea it's the kind of thing you can't pull off without a fullback and honestly it's the kind of thing you can't pull off without a good fullback 
it is not easy to have the footwork to get over to the right side of the screen like that, but also just have the ability to block well enough to be a fullback. That's kind of why he is so effective as a player, is he can do it all, essentially. Not only can he make these traditional blocks, but he can move around and make some more untraditional blocks. A lot of people, when they think fullback, they think, okay, you're just a big guy who's going to just run straight into somebody. That's all you have to do. But of course, there's more to it than that. I mean, watch, he'll do a similar thing again, where it's going to be a play action once again, and he is going to be running to the right side of the screen again. But watch what happens this is the value to having a fullback move over like that does for a team because that's not a tackle who's blocking that line that's actually gonna be a tight end but now you can use a fullback and a tight end to block a lion's edge rusher and you don't have to use an offensive lineman to block an edge rusher and it's still almost guaranteed to be a block i mean you is just in perfect position right here there's no way that lion can get past him and he also just finishes off the block very well and allows jimmy garoppolo to take a throw deep i mean again it's things like that that make having a good fullback effective that's why you want to have a fullback and not just a fullback but a good fullback it can help you in a running game of course it can help you in a running game i mean we all realize that okay yes having a good fullback can help you in the run we get it but it can also really help you in play action i mean when your opposing defense sees that you have a fullback in the game they do have to be more aware of a potential run and so when it's play action it does help sell to play action even more having someone like you check in the game but he's a talented guy so he can help pass block even after he already helped sell to play action one more play i thought that was interesting was this one those are going to be the blocks it's all going to be one-on-one -on -one blocks on the left side of the screen actually a couple of these are going to be tough to pull off one in particular is the left guard having to move over to block that charger who's going to be right over there however they're all going to actually win their one-on-one -on -one blocks pretty well so that's nothing to be too worried about in this one and then Yushek is going to run straight over there in between the left tackle and tight end and it also helps that that tight end is George Kittle who blocks like an offensive lineman so there's some benefits there as well so what you're going to see is he's going to move up and get ready to make this block and he's in perfect position to make this block so if you are that charger who is Derwin James well what should you do in this situation well there's a couple things you could do one thing is you could just you know lower your shoulder try to get your pad level low and hit him head on that could take him out of the play and if you can make sure that he doesn't move you in any direction you could still sort of get in the way of the halfback and try to make a tackle however that's going to be tough to do especially when you are a safety granted Duran James a very physical safety but if you are a safety going up against the fullback that's just not a great situation you want to be in so one other thing you could do is just try to get around him and so that's what he's going to try to do and that's what he is going to do and so you might be saying oh okay well I guess Derwin James has Yusek figured out then you just have to get around him but the reality is no you can't really do that James knew that he wasn't going to be able to beat him straight up, so he tried to get around him. But watch how, because he is trying to get around him, this now means that the 49ers halfback can simply just run through the left side of the screen and pick up plenty of yards. That wasn't really a block, actually, but it kind of had the same result as one. And that kind of also just goes to show the presence that he has when he steps onto the field. Guys don't want to have to go up against him. I mean, that's not some bench warmer. That's Derwin James, the guy who in his first season ever as a starter was a first-team All-Pro. But that was definitely just going to show what Yushek can bring to the table, and also worth mentioning his speed factored in there as well. Because he is a fast guy who can quickly get up to that second level when there was a big hole that formed, this now means that it gave the halfback sort of more time to operate. Speed is also something that is important in a fullback, and Yushek definitely has that as well. One more thing that I find very fascinating about Yushek is actually his ability to go out wide and run routes. And if a record scratch went off in your head, I know you're saying, what on earth are you talking about, Jackson? Are you really going to be showing some highlights of a fullback running routes? And yes, I am. I mean, listen, this is a guy who's got gotten over 300 receiving yards each of the past couple of seasons. And while of course a certain percentage of those are just going to be check downs because something didn't work out, he can also just run a traditional route pretty decently well. Like on this one, it's going to be a cover one blitz and that's his route. It's an out route towards the bottom half of the screen. So it's man coverage against a linebacker, but watch his route. It's pretty decent. I mean, he got some separation there and if the ball did come to him at the perfect time, he could have made a catch on that one. He's not exactly Antonio Brown out there, I'll admit it. I'm not trying to say that he is. But my point is that he can actually run a decent route route and that actually has way more benefits than just potentially getting open a little bit because for one thing this actually gives San Francisco so much versatility because you can have Yushek, you can have a halfback and you can have George Kittle all in the game so your opposing defense almost has to put three linebackers out there to make sure they don't get burned in the running game but then you can send them out five wide and have major mismatches on the outside so it gives Kyle Shanahan a lot of versatility to work with but there's actually one other way it really helps them like on this play it's going to be a run to the bottom half of the screen but if you notice Yushek is out wide here that's because he 
he's going to actually go out to block that Viking right over there. So this now means that when it is a run like that, he's easily able to run over in position and try to make that block. Like, as you see right now, there's no way you're winning if you're a Viking in this situation. He's just been taken out of a play, and so it's an easy way to get a great block towards the sideline if that's what you want to do, if that's the play you want to run. That's honestly kind of what makes him stand out over other fullbacks in the league, is his ability to be able to run, basically. That's kind of what makes him stand out over other fullbacks in the league, is honestly his footwork and his ability to run. He can block, but we already know that. You can't be a fullback if you can't block. But the fact that he can run a route really just benefits them a lot because it can help you in so many different ways. He's definitely someone that is going to go uncredited a lot throughout the 2019 season, but I think if the 49ers do have success, at least on the offensive side of the ball, it'll definitely be in large part because of having a good fullback, especially in that Kyle Shanahan system. And so anyways, that's my video on Kyle Yusek. I hope you guys liked it, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>